Hello students. So today's point of discussion is methods of preparation of glucose. Now remember, glucose is a monosaccharide having aldehyde group. In fact, it is aldohexose. Now it is popularly known as grape sugar. It is also known as blood sugar. Now remember, it can be used as an instant source of energy. Thus, it is an important uh, carbohydrate to be discussed. Now let's see the methods to prepare glucose. So very first method to prepare glucose is by hydrolysis, by hydrolysis of cane sugar, that is sucrose. Now remember, cane sugar or sucrose is a disaccharide. Thus, upon hydrolysis, sucrose is capable of giving two molecules of monosaccharides. Now remember, among those two, one is fructose and another is glucose. So remember, the molecular formula of sucrose is C12H22O11. So when this sucrose is hydrolyzed by using either by using dilute HCl or one can use dilute H2SO4 also. But remember, ethyl alcohol is to be added during the course of hydrolysis and on heating, I mean, when sucrose, which happens to be the disaccharide, is hydrolyzed by using dilute mineral acid like HCl in alcoholic medium, then this sucrose prefer to undergo hydrolysis giving glucose along with fructose. Now remember, this is supposed to be the glucose and this is fructose. So in this manner, glucose mixture of glucose and fructose is obtained. Now, how would you separate mixture of glucose and fructose? So separation is so simple. Remember, by separating this, one thing should be clear that this fructose is soluble in alcohol, but glucose is almost insoluble. So very first thing is fructose is soluble in alcohol, but glucose, but glucose is insoluble in alcohol in alcohol. So ultimately upon filtration, crystals of glucose separate out and fructose remain in the solution. In this manner, glucose can be separated from fructose. But remember, this is a laboratory method. But if at all you are willing to prepare glucose in large scale, I mean in commercial manner, then that can be done by hydrolyzing the starch. Remember, second and very important method is from starch. So remember, when starch is hydrolyzed, we all know very well that starch is a polysaccharide. And polysaccharides upon hydrolysis give larger number of monosaccharide molecules. So remember, starch can be given in this manner. So this is the starch and remember it is a polymeric we all know very well so when starch is hydrolyzed by using dilute mineral acid like h2so4 so when starch is hydrolyzed by using dilute h2so4 then upon hydrolysis it would give large number of glucose molecules i mean glucose in bulk can be produced in this manner but as far as separation is concerned, now remember, in this very important thing, I mean, H2SO4 is there along with the glucose so produce. So in order to neutralize H2SO4, calcium carbonate is added. So CaCO3 is added to neutralize, to neutralize H2SO4 if you are using H2SO4 to hydrolyze the starch. Now, upon neutralization, calcium sulfate crystals are obtained. Sometimes what happens, syrup of glucose so obtained uh, may be colored. Now, we need to remove the coloring matter. 
So in order to remove the coloring matter, we need to probe that syrup, glucose syrup, through the bed of the charcoal. So to remove, to remove colored impurities or coloring matter, matter, glucose solution, glucose solution is passed over bed of charcoal. So by doing this, one can decolorize the glucose solution. And on cooling, crystals of glucose separate out. And remember that glucose is packed and sold in the market. Remember, this is the large scale production of glucose. And remember, it happens to be the commercial method to prepare glucose. Thank you very much.